Hey everyone, I wanted to go over some uh, collision settings which can help you when you make a world and make sure that when users load in they don't constantly fall down through the world. Um, there's a couple of things you can tweak to just make this better. I've yet to do them in Tea Garden, so I've loaded into Tea Garden to uh, go ahead and do them. So the first thing you need to do is find the, um, the mesh or object that represents the floor of your world. In this case it's the, the wood paneling here. Um, that's part of the tea house, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, inspect the world a little bit and try and find that. Um, so I have found it in one, which was uh, unexpected, but there we go. Uh, this is the ground mesh for the tea house. If I pull it out, you'll see that's the uh, the base structure of the of the tea house. Um, and you'll see there's a mesh collider with a character collider checked, and that means that this is what we're colliding with on the, in the world. The next thing you need to do is open up um, the physical locomotion settings. So this is inside uh, user spawner locomotion modules physical. And here under physical locomotion, you'll see uh, these three properties here. Let me just make this a bit bigger. You'll see here min initialization delay, max initialization delay, and initialization collider root. They're a bit of a mouthful, those words, but. Uh, I'll explain each one. So min initialization delay is the minimum amount of time it will wait when you load into a world before initializing the physical locomotion controller, including the, the falling of gravity. And then max initialization delay is the max time it will do. These are both in seconds, I think. Um, and this basically controls like how how soon it will it will kick those things in. You can tweak those if you know that you have a, a world which takes a longer amount of time to load in. You could raise the minimum and raise the maximum or go in somewhere in between just to give the world a little bit more time to load in. The other thing here you can do is you can set an initialization collider root, which is why we found the ground over here. If we set the ground to the initialization collider root, the initialization will look to try and see if this object has loaded before initializing the gravity. Um, and that will uh, work with these settings as well. So now it'll wait two seconds uh, as a minimum, up to 300 seconds to see the ground object before it will uh, kick in the gravity. Also, uh, I have set this one in this world. There is the full respawn position. For worlds where you don't go down a lot, like this one, the, the level you start at is pretty much flat. You go up some stairs, but you don't go down anywhere. You can set this to like a couple of units or so below the, um, below the ground level. What this lets you do is um, when people go below this Y value, they will respawn. It defaults to something like 200, which means it's a long fall before you start to respawn. If we uh, find me in the node and the inspector for a second, You'll see that right now I'm at um, Y position negative 0 0.45 apparently. If I go up the stairs, you'll see I'm uh, raising up. And below I'm, uh, I'm negative there. So you can always uh, use that to kind of sort of figure out what you want to set here as the full respawn position. I don't bring it really close to the top of the world because there, there might be some glitches whereby it's triggering too often. Um, so you can see here I've lowered it to negative 25. I might actually lower that again, looking at the, the numbers here down to uh, negative, negative 5 should be good. So with that set on negative 5 and the uh, initialization collider route and these set, I should have a better time loading into the world and I won't fall through the ground. I hope that helps anyone who's uh, having that happen with their worlds. Uh, you can play around with these settings more and uh, see how it works for those users who take a little bit longer to load in. Thank you. If you've got any questions, let me know.